Hello and welcome to this film which is all about the practical about the reactivity of metals. There are five metals on test, three from group one, lithium, sodium and potassium, and two from group two, magnesium and calcium. Now, the group one metals will be demonstrated for you by your teacher and the group two metals you'll be having a go with yourself. Okay, so all of the reactions involve you getting to react these metals with water. Now, lithium and sodium and potassium shouldn't need too much encouragement. And to be on the safe side, your teacher will demonstrate these in a trough full of water. So that big round container there is called a trough. Okay, and we've got a safety screen around it, just in case any of these metals catch fire and jump out of the water. Okay, but basically, the test with all three of these group one metals is the same. The trough will be about a half full of water. The metals will be dropped into the water. We'll observe how they react. And once the reaction is finished, we'll put a bit of this universal indicator in to see what's happened to the water after the reaction. Okay. Now, that there are certain similarities between that and the practicals that you're going to do, except you're going to do yours on a smaller scale. Okay. So you're going to be doing yours in a test tube of water. So again, the test tube needs to be about half full of water. You're going to drop your metal, whether it's about a two or three centimeter strip of magnesium or about a small spatula full of calcium granules. Okay, you're going to do them in separate test tubes of water and you're going to observe how those metals react. If there is no immediate reaction with water, it would be a good idea for you to heat the reaction up, but only gently. And so the way we're going to do this is we're going to actually hold the test tube in our fingers whilst heating it on a Bunsen. Now, if we're going to do this really gently, then we want the Bunsen's air hole to be open, but not so open that the flame is roaring. Okay, And we want to hold the tube at an angle so that we don't burn our fingers over the flame. And we're going to want to just hold it until we can feel it's as if the tube starts to vibrate a little bit. And that's giving you a sign that the water is going to start boiling soon. Okay, And if you keep heating after that, the water will just boil quite violently and shoot out of the tube. So make sure you're always pointing this tube away from yourself and from other people Okay, while you're heating it. Be especially careful if the lab is a bit crowded. Okay, And once the water is about to boil, so the tube is vibrating, just take the tube out of the heat and you should observe a reaction starting to occur even if you couldn't see it in the cold. Now with both these metals, magnesium and calcium, hopefully they're going to give off a gas as they react. We're going to try and catch that gas by putting a boiling tube over the top of the test tube because the gas that we're hopefully going to form is less dense than air and so it will float up into this other tube and then once that's done we just get it, put it near the Bunsen and try and light that gas. So that's about it for that experiment. Try and make sure you've got a clearly written method before you start and ask your teacher if you've got any questions about it.